This is AI. Wait, no, this is actually AI. And it takes whatever you write. For example, a purple rhino riding a rocket and turns it into a beautiful piece of art. So now we're going to use this AI to build something beautiful in Minecraft. The first step is to get some suggestions of what to build from you guys. So I've tweeted out asking for your favorite colors, animals, and places. And then I used a random wheel to pick a combination of the three. And this is what we came up with. A blue tiger on Tatooine, which is the planet from Star Wars. This is going to look really cool. Let's see. <laughs> this one looks really cool. If we click on it, we can get variations of this. Ooh. All right, nice. So we're going to go with this blue tiger. So now it's time for step three. This is where we're going to use a Minecraft pixel art generator to turn this image into something that can be built in Minecraft. So if we just click generate, we have the plan, but most importantly, a list of every block we're going to need, which is where step number four comes in, collecting the 10,000 blocks we're going to need for this build. Okay, looking at this list, some of them are very easy, like one spruce plank. And other ones are very hard. For example, we need 1,358 blocks of gold. Uh, why did someone have to suggest a planet that's made of sand? Anyways, let's start off with the easy blocks and work our way up to the harder ones. Hmm, I'd say six oak logs is pretty easy. Now we're really up in the levels and going for 17 stripped oak logs. Oh my god, this is hard. We also need 17 oak planks. And it is Done. I mean, I guess getting the rest of the wood should be pretty easy. So we need 38 of these bad boys. Perfect. Then eight normal ones, six planks. And now it's time for jungle. And spruce. Then acacia. After a long flight, we have dark oak. And that's all the wood's complete. Next up is 452 snow blocks, which would be easy apart from we don't have our shovel. Maybe it's in here. Well, looks like we're going to have to get a new one. That should do. Ah, we need silk touch. 12 emeralds. After last episode, I think we can just about afford that. And there's the one block of emeralds ticked off the list too. Now we can finally get the 452 snow. Next up, it's time to acquire some ice. And I don't mean the kind of ice that rappers wear. I'm talking about packed ice normal ice and blue ice which i have just remembered is made out of nine packed ice i'm about to destroy a lot of ice spikes all that destruction and we still have less than half of the amount of blue ice we need we need to go bigger And bang, that is all the blue ice. But we're not done role-playing climate change just yet. We need 158 powdered snow and yeah. So we need 158 buckets. Looks like a lot of these guys are gonna have to die. Oh no, perfect. That's good. Oh wait. Oh my god, we have to store 158 of these. We can use these spare six shulker boxes to store the snow, but I don't want to have to carry them around with us, so a normal person might say, put them in an ender chest. However, I am not a normal person. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, hi, Dream. That is the wrong animal. Let's go! And how do I... Wait, what? You don't even need to craft anything. You just need a chest. Oh my god. And just like that, we have somewhere to store all of our snow. This is so much better than using an ender chest. Anyway, now we're going from the cold blocks to the hot blocks. Well, the nether blocks. All right, what do we need? We need six soul soil. An absolutely massive amount of blocks from the nether fortress as well. Nice. Lol. 21 delicious bone blocks. Oh, they sound so nice. And now 14 of these glowing stone blocks. Wait, that is the wrong pickaxe. No. What is this called again? Basalts. How does one make it smooth? Ah, like this. And I've just realized we need five more. 
now it's time for something dangerous. We need all of the bastion blocks. But where is the bastion? Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't really know exactly what I need, so I'm just going to get everything. Ooh, our first block of gold as well. We only need like 1,357 more. Don't mind me, I'm just destroying your home because AI told me to build a blue tiger on a different planet. Oh no! Guys, we can talk about this. And by talk, I mean... Oh my god. Alright, I might just fly away. Alright, we just need 11 gilded blackstone, and then I think we've got everything from here. Or five? Ooh, another block. 1,356 to go. I don't know why people think these places aren't that safe. <laughs> Nine? Eleven. Perfect. And now I think it's time to speedrun the rest of the nether blocks. Cue the dream music. We now need 818 shroom lights. Yeah, we definitely need a faster way of doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the shroom light destroyer 4000. And there we go. Now for the final nether block. And it's going to require some TNT. Do I have any? Nice. Okay, now we just place down some TNT. Wait, is that going to light that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we're looking for four ancient debris. Can we get it from this? There's one. Why do we even need ancient debris to build a blue tiger? Eh, whatever the AI wants. Ooh. Oh my god, there's two. Yes, just one more to go. And that's all the nether blocks complete. Now it's about time we start dealing with one of our biggest problems. The 1,358 blocks of gold we need for this build. Luckily, I have one of the most OP gold farms in the world. So all I need to do is click this. All right, I don't know if the farm was working properly, but let's see how much gold we got anyway. And that's it. We have just over 10% of what we need. Oh my god. I think we'll come back to that later. For now, let's gear up to go mining because there's a bunch of blocks we need, not to mention the 857 lapis blocks we need. Oh, that's going to be hard. So for lapis mining, we're going to need silk touch. And then we're also going to need mending. Turn them into netherite. We'll grindstone all the bad ones. And then everyone knows you need to spend lapis to make lapis. Ooh. Add all the books. And we're ready to go mining. It's not just lapis we need. We also need a bunch of other blocks. For example, three andesite. One cobblestone. Oh, wait. That's andesite still. <laughs> one cobblestone. And three tough. We're also probably going to get a few more, but let's get down to the mine and start looking for lapis. I think this is the best level to mine at. Ooh. Our first lapis. Yes. More. It seems to be working so far. How long is this going to take, though? <laughs> yes! That's 12 now. And I did some research, and it says every Fortune 3 lapis block is going to give us about 36 lapis. But we still have so much to collect. Oh, we need regular gold ore, not mm. deep slate gold ore. Ooh, and we actually need about two polished andesite. So we should get some of this. Ooh, 11 dirt. We also need, like, 13 blocks of coal, so we should probably get this. I haven't found any lapis in ages. Oh, this is gonna take so long. Go. Okay, we're starting to get there. We're on 57 lapis blocks now. I think for the next couple of hours, I'm gonna really get my head down and start mining. And hopefully by the end, we'll have all the lapis we need. This is around 250 blocks of lapis ore. Now the question is, will using this Fortune 3 pickaxe get us enough lapis to make 857 blocks? Well, it's time to find out. There's our first stack. We're two stacks down and we're onto the second layer. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Okay, and the final result is this. That's just over half of the amount we need. Why did the tiger have to be blue? Mining wasn't all bad though. We did manage to get four cobble deep slate, two polished diorite and andesite, four dripstone blocks, one copper ore, and after I mine this, we should have the 13 coal blocks we need. Perfect. All right, we're making good progress, but I think it's time to take some of the easier blocks off the list. Let's start with the desert blocks. So I'm going to steal 10 smooth sandstone from this house. Thank you. 
<laughs> then we also need two cut sandstone. We then also need one regular sandstone. And finally, we need 433 chiseled sandstone. I guess we'll just mine loads of this. This village is going to be floating. Okay, and we'll chisel that when we get back to base. Next is the colorful blocks. We're talking concrete and terracotta. And since we're here, we'll grab a bunch of the terracotta. Is this regular? Yeah. And if we come down here to our little dye area, we should be able to craft all the terracottas. Now we need to get all the blocks of wool as well. And I've got a pretty good idea for this. We'll just dye these sheep the color of the wool that we need. So we need some black, we need some light blue, we also need a light gray, a gray, some white, some brown, and some blue. Now we just put redstone here to make the machine work, and we can just sit back, relax, and watch our wool get collected. All right, awesome, that's all the wool. Now the last group of colored blocks is of course concrete. So for this, if we just put blue here, light blue, black and gray, switch them all on. Now if we come through here, our UFO should generate us all the concrete powder we need. And I can turn it into concrete down here. Wow, we've just ticked off so many blocks. But let's keep this progress going by collecting some of the most random blocks we need for this build. For example, we need 263 prismarine. And I think I know just where to get it. We transformed the outside of this ocean monument, but not the inside. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be so much easier than finding a new one. Also, let me know in the comments, is prismarine blue or is it green? Next on the list is seven clay, which I think we could get from here. The next one's a little more difficult. 42 jack-o'-lanterns. So for this, we need pumpkins. Well, we need a bit more than two of them. I always remember seeing pumpkins over here. Yes. We still need more. Why is there a raid here then? Do you have pumpkins? Okay, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Ooh, we could take them pumpkins. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just taking the pumpkins. Ow. Oh my god, there's loads. What the hell? Yes, this is actually so good. All right, we only need a few more. Yes. All right, that's enough. Now, how do we make jack-o'-lanterns out of these? We need a torch and a carved pumpkin. There's torches. Then if we just... And... That is all the jack-o'-lanterns. Now we'll just get a few more things until we're on the final bosses of the blocks. Okay, it's time to collect the final boss blocks. These are the hardest blocks we're gonna have to collect. And each one is gonna be quite difficult in its own way. But we'll start off with the easiest one for me, which is a block of diamond. Yeah, that's how hard they're gonna be. Next up, we need to fly thousands of blocks this way. I have been flying for absolutely ages and I can't even find one, but I think Wait, we could have just got it from this pile. Oh my god. Oh, we need silk touch. To make matters worse, my elytra has barely any health, so we're gonna have to walk back. Okay, so I've been using the piglin farm to repair my elytra, and it's actually given me an idea about our next block. You see, it's crying obsidian. So if we eat into some of our gold supply, we should be able to trade with these guys for crying obsidian. The only problem is it's based all on luck. And we're not getting very lucky. We need to find some way of increasing our odds. And the best way to do this is going to be getting multiple pigs. Come on, Mr. Piglin. They are such gold diggers. Ooh, yes. More gold diggers. Let's go. Yes, we have six piglins in the hole. And that's the crying obsidian done. Now it's finally time to tackle the lapis again. And after doing some research, I've came up with a new method. And it involves this and making some of these. All right, and this should give us a water breathing potion. Yes, let's go. And we'll make it eight minutes by putting redstone in there. Combined with night vision potions, this is the perfect setup to explore underwater caves. And apparently this is the best way to find lapis. Look at this, there's two together. Oh my God, this cave's amazing. Okay, it's literally just been eight minutes and we've already found over 50 lapis. Let's see how much we can get in an hour. Yeah, that is definitely a faster way to get lapis. 
And finally, if we combine our lapis blocks that we got from earlier, we now have the 857 lapis we're gonna need. There's only two different blocks left now, and the next one is 1146 endstone. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot I built the solar system where the end island was. I guess we'll just fly this way, just past the giant flat earth model. And here we go. This island is getting destroyed. I wonder how long this is gonna take. And finally, the one I've been dreading, the 1,000 gold blocks we're going to need for this build. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit here all night. And by the morning, we had all the gold we needed. So all of the blocks have finally been collected. Now it's time to construct the AI's amazing build. But where should we put such a magnificent piece of art? This looks like a good spot. And that way, Dream will always be looking at the AI's build. So first, we'll grab some dirt. And we'll use this to build the 100 long area we need for the build. And in the process, I had to destroy this hill. Okay, it's time to start building because we've only got 10 hours to get this done and we need to place 10,000 blocks. Meaning we need to place one block every 3.5 seconds for the next 10 hours. Oh my God, this is gonna be hard. The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna build it up in rows. And luckily this pixel generator allows you to click here and it tells you all the blocks you need for each row. So with time ticking down, it's time to start the first row. Five gold and back to stream or gold. Now we're onto the random blocks at the end for some reason. Endstone, diamond, emerald, is that slime? Shroom light, purple concrete powder, and finish it off with blue concrete powder. Okay, that's the first row done. Only 9,900 more blocks to place. Oh, this is gonna look so cool at the end, but it's gonna be so hard to build. Okay, row number two. And that's row two complete. There's gotta be a faster way of doing this. So after doing some thinking, I realized the next 10 or so layers are mainly made out of stream lights and gold blocks. So if I focus on doing the gold blocks first and then just fill in the gaps with stream lights, that will probably be so much faster. So now I've got all the gold blocks in my inventory and I know exactly what to do. At first, this method was going well. It was easy and I was making good progress. But then I started making mistakes getting confused about which blocks go where and completely messing up connecting the different branches. But eventually I got all the gold placed and from then on filling in the gaps with shroom lights was very easy. Hmm, to be honest, I can't really see how this is gonna look good, but I guess we've just gotta trust the process and get grinding. Oh, and believe it or not, that has taken us two and a half hours already. So time is definitely ticking down at the moment. And this blue represents the first part of the blue tiger. What do you think about that dream? Anyways, we've got a lot more to do. And I think I'm gonna switch back to doing it in rows because there is a lot of different blocks in this target. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel like the AI is the artist and I'm just the printer printing out the image. All right, we've only got about five hours left to build it and we're still under 50% done. But I think I've got an idea to speed it up a bit. There is a couple large areas made out of only end stone. So if we fill them bits in now, it should save us a bunch of time later. Hopefully I don't mess this up. All right, that should help, but we've still got so much to do and not very much time. So it's time to start making some serious progress. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just trying to build. Oh, why does the blue tiger bit have to be so complicated? Hi, Dream. I feel like once we finish the tiger part, it's going to be so much easier because this part is so complicated. It's finally time for this next bit. We need some powdered snow. So if we come over here, we can find our trusty donkey. And he has all the powdered snow for us. Perfect. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. How am I gonna build the next layers? <laughs> That's a problem for future lockdown life. All right, yeah, future lockdown life is having problems now. The powdered snow ended up slowing us down quite a bit, but I didn't let that get me down because we had nearly finished the blue tiger's head. There we go, that's the tiger's head complete. But before I show you, let's finish the sky.
And after 12 hours of building, the masterpiece is finally finished. AI might be the destruction of the human race, but it can definitely make some awesome art.